It's been a long day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set a hookah up after this. Okay. It has definitely been a long day for Sean Diddy Combs, honey, okay? <laughs> Diddy has had the longest day of his life. The feds then came and locked his ass up. Clink, clink, locked up and won't let his ass out. So I have a question. Do you think that they had his him handcuffed like this or like behind his back? That, that's what I want to know. Was there footage? I need to see. I just want to know how he was handcuffed. Well, apparently there's no footage, but if, I mean, the way Diddy likes it, I would think his hands probably was up front oh. or whatever, because if it was behind his back, then he wouldn't have been able to, mm. you so know. Satisfied him in that way? Okay. In that way. You know, some people like to be chained up and locked up. I think I have, I want to explore that just a little bit more. Being handcuffed? Being tied up oh. or whatever. I don't know why, but it's been seeming very intriguing to me as of late. Since the whole Diddy situation? Or? I don't know if it got anything to do with Diddy, but it just seems a little intriguing to me to possibly be you know. Diddy, even in your downtime in trials and tribulations, you are still an influencer. You have influenced this young man to want to try different things. Oh, come on, somebody. Diddy <laughs> was arrested in New York City. There was an indictment that was brought against him. The prosecution alleges that Combs created and ran a criminal enterprise through his business empire that engaged in crimes included child sex trafficking, forced labor, kidnapping, arson, <laughs> bribery, and obstruction of justice. Come they on. are basically trying to hit Diddy with a RICO charge. They be going to prison for life, okay? Well, based on what we've seen so far, Diddy faces up to a minimum of 15 years in prison with the maximum of possibly life. Now, what we've learned so far is that Diddy had been in New York for the past couple of days. He's been out and about with his family, taking pictures, going to the hood. Now, it's been said, according to Diddy's lawyers, the intent of him being in New York was for him to turn himself in. Mm -hmm. But in the midst of him waiting to turn himself in on Tuesday, Monday night, the feds ran up on his ass. <laughs> and they locked him up. Prosecution basically said that something developed that caused him to move up their, their intended arrest. No one understands what changed, but Diddy was already, according to his lawyers, saying that he was going to turn himself in. Diddy has pleaded not guilty, you know, to the charges of racketeering, conspiracy, and sex trafficking. He was going to offer to pay $50 million bond. And put his house up. And put his mama right. house up, the house he gave his mama. Hey. But he's been denied bond because they feel that he's a flat risk. In addition to him being a flat risk, that he could possibly intimidate witnesses as well. It's been a very interesting day for Diddy. What do you think about all of this? It's been an interesting year for Diddy. Yeah. Okay. Um. So we spoke on this before. Mm -hmm. I'm all. I'm the type of person that like to separate the person from the artist, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and I've defended R. Kelly. I just feel like I might get a little backlash, but it's okay. It's okay. okay. It's all right. Um, I've said this before, on and off camera, on and off stage, in and out of the bed, whatever, the morning, <laughs> the night, whatever the case may be. But I feel like sometimes when people get an opportunity to jump on a train, you know, and, and, and ride that train, it, it, it's a, it's an opportunity, right? Now, do I think that Diddy is innocent by any means? I do not. Okay, okay right. so you you don't feel that he's innocent, but I, mean, I do feel like people know what they're getting themselves into mm -hmm. when they put themselves in this type of situation. We've known Diddy for years. We've known R. Kelly for years. We know these people have rambunctious parties. <laughs> You fucking lying, bitch. <laughs> wow. uh -huh. No, sir. They're not rambunctious parties, okay? According to the prosecution, according to the attorney general, honey, these are freak artists, okay? Were they there? Yeah. But were they there? Yeah. But was the attorney general, were they there? But did you die? This is the, by the, the gag. No, the gag is. The gag this is, is by the no, the gag and is. the people who have come forward and said these are freak offs. In addition to them being freak offs, they said that Diddy has recordings upon recordings upon recordings of these people. Receipts, proof, timeline, screenshots, 
mean everything. And he used to use these recordings to try to bribe them or blackmail them into coming back in the room and let's get to the get down. So this is my thing. So of course, Diddy may have recorded these people, but I feel like, and again, I might get some backlash. Like I said, people know what they're getting themselves involved in when they go to a Diddy party. We know that Diddy party is- It's no party. secret. It's no secret. When you go to this party and you say, you know, oh, this is after the VMAs or this is after the Diddy's after party, you know it's about to be a whole bunch of drugs. You know it's about to be a whole bunch of fucking. It's about to be a whole bunch of wine, liquor, cocaine, whoever, whatever, whatever. Now, granted, you may say, "Hey, I'm not that person. I don't want to be recorded. I don't want the baby, the baby oil on my back." When you when you put yourself in a situation, you kind of got to expect to be in a situation where it may get a little shaky, a little oily, a little wet, a little freaky, especially if it's at a dirty party. Again, do I think he's innocent? No, but I do think that people who have been in situations have known that there's gonna be a situation. They know what they're getting themselves into yes now what i will say this as far as some people who may have been like in his record label or worked for him he may have you know said hey you gotta do this if you're gonna get this i just feel like he's that type of person if he used his position of power to intimidate people coercing or pressuring people into doing certain things then absolutely that's wrong like there's no if ands or buts about it if the person said no i don't want to do this and then he uses his power that's a problem and he definitely should be held accountable for that. I do share your sentiment sometimes that when people go to these parties, when you go to certain places, you know what you're going to get into. But when you start drinking and you start taking drugs or whatever the case may be, I don't know. I, I think you can't cry wolf. Right. In, in these situations. I guess for me, this is such a interesting situation because we're seeing a man being totally taken down. Mm -hmm. Like they're Again. taking him all the way down. Again. Yeah. Um, but Another black man, again, another black man of power or another black man of a statue that is successful that's being taken down. R. Kelly, Bill Cosby, Majors, what is his name? Jonathan, Jonathan Majors. He was taken down, lost his job, lost an opportunity that was about to be huge. Major, he lost a lot of opportunities, not just with Mark. Huge. And there are a multitude of white men who have done things. We have Johnny Depp, who had a whole trial televised because he abusing his girlfriend. He won. He was found not guilty. Found not guilty. My problem with it is that, again, it's so easy for us as black people to tear another black person down, but we so quick to support white men when they're doing some of the similar things or it is actually being hidden. And Harvey just... Weinstein, Jeffrey Upstein. Jeffrey just went ahead. He was in jail and bitch, I'm out of here. Cool. I'm, he dead or whatever. These lawyers have provided some context to the fight with him and Cassie. Now, according to Diddy's lawyer, mm -hmm. what happened was Cassie went in Diddy's phone while he was in the shower and she found out that Diddy had some other hope. Okay. Which, which, come on now, you, now you know. She, she went stupid on the phone, found out he had other hoes, went into the shower or the bathroom. When he came out, she threw the phone at him oh, and ran. That's why she was running down the hall. That's why he was coming down the hall wet, dripping wet in the towel, and he proceeded to attack her. Now, I definitely don't agree with him attacking her. But that's the shit that she would do. You want to know why? Because she's a Virgo. What? She went through that man's phone. Trey, have you ever gone snooping through your man's phone before? Let me tell you something. Uh-huh. Let me tell you something. There was this one time uh -huh. when I lived in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. You know, this, you know this young man. He was actually in the shower after we had just finished um, going for a run. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Is that what we're calling it, running? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was in the shower and we were playing music. Mm -hmm. so it's iPad. I was in the iPad, you know, playing with the music or whatever, and I saw a notification come through on Instagram. So I went on to that message because of what the message said, mm -hmm. and I looked at the previous conversations that were had. And you found some shit. And I found shit not only from that gentleman, but multiple other gentlemen. From oh. Tom, Dick, and Harry too? Yes. <laughs> so when I tell you I lit that apartment up, Not literally, y'all. Not literally. I didn't set no fire. But I went off. And then he was being, uh, what they call it? Gaslight. He tried to gaslight the fuck out of me. When did he, how did he gaslight you? Um, you know, it went to the whole, you know, you know, if I wasn't in the iPad, you know, I wouldn't have seen it. Mm -hmm. type if you was minding your own damn business, you wouldn't uh, have found what you was looking for. 
Well, you know, some things happen for reasons, and you know, I guess it was meant for me to be changing the music or playing with the music in the iPad. Um, so let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something right now. Mm -hmm. Let me put you on notice here and today. If you don't want to find nothing, don't be going through people's phones. But why is if that? You feel that you have to go through that person's phone. Obviously, there's a seed that has already been planted there. But when you go looking for stuff, let me tell you something, y'all. When you go looking for something, you're going to always find it. Okay? Well, this is so, the thing. Wait a minute. Okay. If you wanna go looking, you better be prepared to find to, what to you want to find to, to choke that hoe. You, you better be prepared to choke that hoe. So, um... <laughs> ain't no choke no hoe. You just better be prepared for what you're looking for. When you go looking, you gonna always find something. But that's the thing. I can honestly, right hand to God, can admit I was not looking. It came well, to me. what you picked up the phone and went through the phone for? Well, I was, I was, I told you I was playing the music. Uh -huh. and, and you the you notification. just went into that one thread, but no, what did you do? You went go snooping through multiple threads and, then, and you found multiple things and then and did you leave him after that and then <laughs> i mean i went back and got a little booty sometime here and there but i did so if your partner did go through your phone would you have a problem with it no so do you feel when you're in a relationship with someone, do you feel that y'all should have access to each other's phones? I want, you know, I want it to be where we feel like that is okay. Cause I always want my partner to be like my best friend. I want the partner to be able to like, let me show you this. You can look at this. Hey, I'm in the shower. Somebody's calling, pick it up. I, that's, that's just what I want. What? Now those type of things I think is okay. Cause even as friends, we do that. Hey, mm -hmm. get my phone, do this. But. Do you think you have a right to really go through no. your person's phone? No, no, I don't think I have a right. No, nobody has a right. But again, I'm a big believer of communication. So if there's an open communication where you say, hey, you know what? I don't care if you have my phone or go through my phone or read a text message because I have nothing to hide. And I was just talking to a friend of mine about that today with this iOS update that the iPhone had. You actually can lock your messages now mm -hmm. and where it only unlocks with your face recognition. And he was like, I don't need that. You got nothing to hide. Apple's just trying to help people cheat. That's crazy. I think people who keep their phone really, really close to them are sneaky. Mind your business. <laughs> I think people who always don't want nobody in their phone. Mind your business. <laughs> you know, it's it's top secret. I think those people do have something to hide. I think there's a reason why they keep their phone so actually close to them. Mind your business. <laughs> but it's like, their literally. right. And also people who um, always have their phone face down. Mind your business. <laughs> like that's true. Don't trust those type of people. Why you can't put your phone up? You don't need to see when, when when Byron texting you. Mind your business. What are some other phone red flags? Phone always on vibrate. Don't mm. ever, that bitch don't never ring. It never ring. Yep, yep. Mind your business. <laughs> like when you are around somebody and they don't answer the phone when certain individuals call. Ooh. Certain individuals. Mind your business. <laughs> but you yeah, answer with your cousin. Right. Your, your, mm -hmm, Let's right. see, that's the stuff that, that, that gets me. I'm like, well, why you want to answer the phone? Why you can't answer the phone? That's the same thing I said. Mind your business. <laughs> but then it makes me think that when you're not answering the phone when I'm calling, you're doing the same thing. Somebody else is over there. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Well, Diddy, only thing I can say is... Damn, say this. Diddy. This story is going to continue to develop. Because like I said, the judge has denied his bond. He's not going anywhere. His ass is going to be in jail. I'm going to say this. I think this case is going to be very telling about the inner lockings and the inner workings of the entertainment business. Mm -hmm. People who Diddy has preyed on, people he may have taken advantage of, who are all waiting. Just think about it. I was having this conversation with my barber. We were talking about this. When you think about male rappers right now, ain't really none going on. These are the years of, of women rappers out there. Other than um, L, L. Young, what's his name? L.E. Young, young boy. In L.A. Chopper. Yeah, Chopper. Whew. That young man. Okay, look at Diddy has a lot of dirt on a lot of people. And even the attorney general said that there will possibly be other arrests later on down the line. So any of y'all who done they ever, say, <coughs> ever been to them freak offs mm -hmm. and you done somehow benefited from these freak offs with Diddy or you done got freaky with Diddy or y'all done got freaky together with some other people intentionally or unintentionally, this is about to be very eye-opening. 
happening. I think we're about to see a lot of people get exposed with this case. Diddy, Diddy, Diddy. He got time. Diddy. He got time. He got a whole lot of time. He got a whole lot of time. Comment below. Let us know what you guys think about this whole Diddy situation. Make sure that you like this video. Share it on all of your social media platforms. And we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Peace.